Hello, this is Pinky, and this is going to be how to add a dance and song to your avatar super duper quickly. So all we have to do is first find where we want to download. So the first step will be grabbing VRC Fury. Uh, just click here, follow the steps. It's super simple. Next, we want to actually grab our song and dance. So for an example, I'm going to go to VRC Mods, search up dance, and I'm going to grab some that I want. So for an example, I'm going to grab the jig emote as well as over the top. So all I have to do is click download. I'm not a robot, download the package, and then I will do the same with the next one here. After these are both downloaded, we can drag these into our Unity project, hit import, and then we do that to the other one as well. Again, import. And now that we have these both here, what we're going to do is we're going to select the sound object, hit load in background, make sure that that is checked on, hit apply. After that is done, drag it, then hit add component. With VRC Fury installed, you should see the VRC Fury toggle. You can make that show up just by typing in toggle at the top here. And then after you've done that, what we're going to do is we're going to do emotes and then slash. For this example, it's going to be the Mario one. So we'll put it as Mario for the name. Then we're going to add action, animation clip. So right here is where you stop. If you don't have audio, you can just simply drag the animation in and you're done. But if you want to add audio to it, hit the plus, go down to object toggle, and then you drag the object itself into here. And then we just drag this onto the avatar and you are done. It is fully working. Now I'm just going to go over it one more time with the other animation, just so that you can double check. So again, find our audio source, hit load in background, hit apply. After that's done, drag this in. Again, if you don't have an audio source, you can actually just create an empty and then you can do the toggle object on top of here instead. But for this example, we're not going to be doing that. So I will just get rid of that. And then back to here, add component, toggle. We're going to name this emotes slash, and then whatever we want our thing to be. So for this example, company jig, we're going to hit add action, animation clip, add another action, object toggle, drag the object into here, and then simply find which one we want. So we want the looping one. So we will grab that one, drag it in, and then we drag this onto our avatar. And then our final step, of course, will be testing this. So I'll go to enter play mode. I will wait for it to load up. Go to scene, expressions, emotes, and as you can see, our two emotes are here. And if we want to test one, So that one is done. That one is also working. So if you followed all these steps correctly, you should be able to easily add animations and songs and dances to your avatar. And of course, if you ever want to get rid of them, it's as simple as grabbing this and dragging it out. And now you don't have these emotes or expressions inside of your avatar anymore. Anyways, thank you for watching. This has been Pinky. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe. And otherwise, I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. Hello, this is Pinky, and this is a thank you to my Patreons and YouTube members, those being Tack, Kirchen the Floof, Kit Chimera, Cupid Fox, Dreaded, Blunino One, Emerald Null, Tef, Sir Fappingson, Hamu, and Novan. And then over on my YouTube side, I have A's and Blunino One. Thank you very much for all your support. Everything you guys do really helps make these videos and content. It has been quite a while since I've made it, and I would just like to say I appreciate you guys sticking around for the last two months. It truly does mean a lot. Um, if you are interested in getting one of the desk goobers, there is a link in the description. And otherwise, I hope you have a lovely rest of your day.